Uh, welcome guys thank you so much and in this video we will be discussing about if functions and the countdown timers that you can use in the ad remember we're learning all these things to get more clicks more clicks you'll have more ctr more ctr would have more quality score more quality score google will reward you by giving you uh, higher positions and lower actual cpc we discuss about these things in detail in my last videos in the playlist on quality score you can go watch them if you haven't done that quality score is one of the most important parameters but forget about all these things remember you have to get clicks so you have to write very attractive ads that would try and create an urgency that will entice people to click or your ads are so compelling that people will definitely click on the ad remember your job is to turn clicks into conversions but conversions will happen only when they click right so your job is to do whatever it takes to write a very attractive ad I've, if you can go through the other videos in the in the in the previous uh, uh, list you you you'd come you you'd get an idea of how important is it is to write a good relevant attractive ad remember all that matters is click your job is to turn click into conversion but prashant i want to make my ads more attractive so what options are there we discussed about dynamic keyword insertion right we discussed about dynamic keyword insertion now we'll be discussing about something called if functions and countdown right so let's jump right in let's go a little deeper to understand what they really are right now i have several campaigns in my account this is just a dummy account that i you know give it to my students so you can practically work this account is messed up account because i want students to work on these accounts and try and find insights because if i give you a very good account with good data probably you'd not be able to optimize so much so i, I spend a lot of amount just to ways to try and figure out to, to show you different things in real time just to so you understand the, the the dynamics of this right so there's one campaign which i particularly learned in search network which is adword search i've got close to seven lakh impressions and five thousand clicks and all I've, I've spent close to maybe uh, close to thousand dollars on this campaign and there are two ad groups right so i go to a particular ad which which says okay let's go to seo training right so these are the keywords right these keywords when search when they match with the search term of the user my ad will appear so i wrote the search terms remember i taught you about negative keywords as well so you go to ads and extensions here is a place where you find ads so those are the keywords which will get triggered when user searches them right and these are the ads right so Maybe I'll write one more ad okay, just to show you. Right, so I, I, I write my headline. So I say SEO, uh, or maybe I can write advanced SEO course. Uh, right, like oh, expert, something like that. Right? Be, 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 be alert when you write an ad. Make sure your ad is very attractive. And um, Headline tools. Remember, you, you know all these things I've taught you already. So I'm telling you, don't go to institutes, learn this stuff. Again, I'm telling you, you go to implement them in real time. That's your objective because you waste your time learning these things. And by the time you complete the course, you don't have the practical experience and that will not take you anywhere. Right. So learn these things, watch the entire playlist, then decide whether you want to join an institute or learn in real time and work with accounts which invest literally crores. So that's up to you. I leave the choice to you. So headline one, headline two, description one, description two. I've, I've, I've already shared a lot of uh, content on this. You can go through my blog as well right uh, headline two so i want to say hey my new batch starts uh, on for example i say july 23rd so whoever sees my ad that means i wrote some keywords right five keywords whenever a search term matches those keywords this ad will appear advanced seo course for experts uh, new batch starts on july 23rd right but prashant here is where i want to make a little little innovative right why should I show July 23rd, July 23rd, July 23rd, July 23rd? Why can't I, you know, use a feature where it will dynamically replace with the uh, the option where it says, hey, two days left, three days left, five days left, something like that. That will create more urgency, so it, it will make more people get enticed and click on the ad. So you can write like this as well. So another way to write this is new batch starts, rather than writing July 23rd, I'd say, in use the flower braces. Like dynamic code insertion, it also uses flower braces, but you don't go with this option. You go with something called countdown. When I go with countdown option here, it will ask me, when do you want to end the countdown? So I say, hey, I want to end the countdown on July 23rd, right? So I can go and say July 23rd. And system is asking me from when you want to start the countdown. So I say maybe 30 days or maybe 15 days. Before 15 days, I want the countdown to get initiated or to get triggered. So when I put this, it says new batch starts in three days. So if person searches from uh, on, on, for example, like July 5th, it will say batch starts in 17 days or batch starts in 10 days so based on the user's time zone and the day google will dynamically insert that number taking into account the day you want to end the countdown right so it says five days to go three days to go so that that will create a kind of urgency among people that will you know that will make people click or this is particularly useful for people who have a flash sale where you say you know sale ends in two hours three hours so this is one option and again you use the same formula use the flower presses 
and system will show the entire drop down in the drop down use the countdown feature right so this this is one good thing so i say uh, maybe i can go with this right now in the headline 3 i want to say uh, see again the ad will serve on desktop and mobile but prashant i don't want to show the same ad to people on search desktop same ad to people on mobile i want to change my message so what i can do is if people search on mobile uh, or say register now for program register now for program i put like this right so i want to show this when people are searching on desktop so what i can do is i can put a flower press again here you have something called if function in the if function you have something called device if device is mobile you write call now and register i'm just giving an example so when people searching on device which is mobile this will appear which is call now and register but if the people people right call now and otherwise i say register now for so when i do this when the user is searching on mobile this text will appear because on mobile i want people to rather call me than go into you know the website it's a good people call me i can directly talk to them and mobile is you know that place where people can immediately initiate a call then rather than click and wait for the site to load and all but if it's a, if it's a desktop they don't have the option to call so i want to show them register for the course so they can click and go to the site so i can change my message based on the device right so these are two things that you have we in, in case you want to be more creative you can you know read some content on the internet you'll definitely read it but remember these are certain ways that you can make it very attractive try and improve more clicks and thus improve ctr and quality score you have the option of if function if function where you have the option to change the text based on device and countdown feature where you can dynamically insert a random uh, uh, dynamically insert the time which will create that urgency and in the if function you don't just go with the condition as device you also have the condition of audience this i will say uh, speak when we create something called uh, something called uh, what do you say uh, you know rlsa campaign you know similar to that where, where we capture those people who already visit our website and those people again come to google it means you search on google and your search term matches my keyword your search term matches my keyword but you're not new you already visited my site so why should i show the same ad i want to change my text because you already came to my site in the past and again you are searching something right so you might be you might did, you did not like what i offered in the first place so maybe what i can do is i can come back with a new ad with 30% off 40% off and this is not for everybody this is only for those people who already visited my site and again they are searching their search term matches my keyword so in this case you can go and use the audience option you can select whatever audience if people are searching on google.com and they are part of that audience you can dynamically change the text to them so these are one good ways that google has you can you can go through the interface remember if they're all available in the ad section all you have to do is press the flower press you'll have the drop down Thank you so much. Continue to watch the other videos in the playlist and uh, watch the entire sequence of uh, videos in the playlist. I bet you'd become a master at using Google Ads. You want to practically work on real-time accounts? That's when you go to an institute. Never go to learn these things. You're wasting time, wasting your money. By the time you complete that, your training is over and you will not learn anything. Remember, and uh, work on real-time accounts to get that practical experience. Only then you can think of making career. Thank you so much. Continue to watch. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that. Thank you, and uh, I will see you with another video on the channel. Thank you. Thank you.